what are you saying? Back with another video, so yeah. This Yo Gutty and Dolph suit will never end. Um, we got one of his, um, who is it? Yo, Yo Gutty? His brother got his TV turned off, so we're going to see what we're going here. Hit the like button and subscribe, innit? Memphis is on fire right now. After two rappers' brothers were shot up by mass hitmen only months apart. And unfortunately, both the rappers' brothers was killed on camera in a brazen shooting. And... Is it me or is um, the black culture in this rap, rap, this rap shit is quite negative? Um, the rap about negative things. Uh, their imagery is very negative and ignorant. Just a powerful destruction, isn't it? So I've actually limited the amount of rap music I listen to and who I listen to. Um, the ones that just completely talk about violence all the time and uh, glorifying certain negative things. Yeah, cut them off. Even if I love it and the sound of it, and. I'm not even just talking about this new stuff either. Even stuff like back in the nineties, you might have some stuff back in the nineties that was quite ignorant. Even like with some lyrics, um, I am gonna get to the video, but just listen to what I'm saying. Even like with Biggie, he was like, "Oh, you look so fine. I'll, I'll, I'll suck on your daddy's dick." Like, what, what the fuck does that mean? Forget that anyway. But broad daylight first. Black youngster's brother was targeted and murdered. And today, Yo Gotti's older brother, Big Jook, got shot up at a funeral service. But this Big Jook guy was taking the piss out of Dolph when he was dead. So, karma works in mysterious ways. That's all I gotta say. And Black Youngster, Black Youngster was taking the piss as well. But who's to say that this isn't sacrificing? Because you do know that people in the Hollywood, go look it up. People in the Hollywood, they're into that messed up shit because they signed their life away and they have to do as do as they're told. Good um good to Kente and what's, what's what's the other word? What what's the other name? The other slave name. Oh, it's, it's coming back to me, it's coming to me. Uh damn. When, when, when I think of it, I'll say it. <laughs> of their kingpin uncle, who was a certified street nigga. And all this violence connects right back to the tragic passing of the beloved Memphis rapper. Ignorance. So this will be ignorance on top of ig ignorance on top of ignorance. Why why would you even want a title? Street nigger. That just sounds ignorant. It, listen. Young Dolph. But the internet detectives are on the case. And today we'll be taking a look at all the footage and all the records that's been made available to the public to find out what really happened. Come on, niggas in the hood was hey, man, I ain't bottom. CEO TZ. I was about to say, yo, the copyright, yo. Let's go shot to death in Orange Mound Wednesday. Oh, oh, dear. A young Dolph taunting the people there that was shooting after him. That's one thing you don't do because that's what I'm saying. You're playing with. Um, you ever watch that film, uh, Final Destination, where the people there. They escaped death, but then it, it, it got them anyway after they escaped it. But then they have to figure out a way to try and beat it and, and, and um, so it doesn't happen. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying is that they put some of these things in these films and some of it actually comes to like reality. Uh, you got like the ro robots with iRobot, all kind of shit. Um, the cars that drive themselves, that, that in Demolition Man and... Um, was a demolition man there the self-driving cars they had self-driving cars in iRobot as well and it's here today so tell me i'm talking shit go look it up at it between dawn's paper route empire and yo Gotti cmg crew is well documented and according to flipper this daily conflict started when young Dolph allegedly refused to sign a record contract with yo Gotti cmg level you see that demonic symbolism let me go back allegedly refused and isn't it funny that after Young Dolph signed this deal to this empire, he suddenly just tragically dies. These record companies, right, they, they know that they make more money when the artist is dead. He should never have signed that contract. Who's the side of record? Look at that demonic shit. Young Dolph is practically telling you, 
he, he, he signed that contract. <laughs> what kind of music video was this? Well, yo, got his CMG Very demanding. And lost his own pre-record label instead. <laughs> How the hell did he find someone with such a big forehead like the young guy? Look, look, look at that forehead. Look at that forehead. Look at that forehead. Look at that So, I mean, ignorant lyrics. This this sparked several mysterious attacks on Dolph's life, with over 100 shots fired and multiple mafia-style assassinations. The LAPD now wants to talk with rapper Yo Gotti following a shooting in front of Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood. But yet, they're meant to keep their mouth shut and not say nothing. They're meant to just tolerate it and retaliate back. That's what I mean, N negative nigga shit, man. I'm sick of it. Young Dolph. I'm going to start listening to classical music. In critical condition, shot several times in the body. And police say they have hotel security video. Uh, an individual produces a gun, a suspect, and he fires. See, he had, he had one attempt on his life. That, um, the one where he was in that bodyproof vehicle. Say that, no, apparently he was shot at before that. I'm pretty sure Young Dolph was shot at before this, the 100 shot shit. And the car flipped over and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure that was... But then, again, when he got shot up in the, hosp uh, in the hotel, and then he made another video about it, where he caught out, caught out a hospital, taunting him again. Toward the individual who was shot. Detectives looking into the possibility of bad blood between rival rappers. But when Dolph tragically lost his life, retaliation was soon followed. Because immediately after Young Dolph's passing, reports came out that a popular restaurant that was owned by Yo Gotti in Memphis called Prive was shot up, leaving two victims killed on a scene of Gotti's estate. Probably innocent people got killed just because they were there. So I'm saying surrounding a web of confusion Wednesday night following a deadly shooting. Got a bullet hole in that car. Police were called here to Prive, a popular restaurant owned by rapper Yo Gotti. A restaurant owned by rapper Yo Gotti. Outside the restaurant, shots were fired. Bullet holes, including one that pierced this driver's side window, show just how violent the attack was. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Chuk, if I see Gotti, if I see Nigo, if I see Young Star, I'm going to get on there. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. Evo, nigga don't know that you put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I live, bro. I need to say this. Is he ready to throw his life away? Man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my Chuck put a 40,000 dollars hit on you, bro? This street war got deadlier as more blood began to shed in the city of Memphis, but it reached a new level when the get back started to include family members of Yo Gotti's inner circle. I remember that, that black youngster song where he was. He made a, a video in like a graveyard taking a piss. Because on August 18th, 2023, fellow CMG artist Black Youngster's little brother was tragically shot up at a BP gas station in broad daylight. They're getting active in the south. One person has been shot right here. They out to the hood out. At this BP on South Parkway. So this is where black people need to start thinking because they're slowly making life harder for themselves with all this fucking ignorance. They don't understand it. They're running around thinking, oh, your life is good and shooting up shit and you ain't going to get caught. Or you make life harder for the innocent people that are not doing this shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, and what do you get out of it? The police will eventually catch you, you know. Just remember that. You ever, you ever going to think, oh, yeah, let, let me go out and do a crime? There's a high... There's a high Chance that your ass will get caught. So think twice. Four times actually. Check on your fact, don't even think of it. But today, tragedy would unfortunately strike your Gotti's family when news broke that Gotti's older brother and CMG boss, Big Chuck, was targeted by hitmen after attending a family funeral. You want them to again because he was taking the piss. Please show that video. Of another street kingpin, their uncle. 
Las Vegas Eric, who was known in official police records to have smuggled powder from Las Vegas to Memphis back in the day that led to the indictments of Yo Gotti's aunt and his mother that Gotti famously rapped about on his album. My mom was in the kitchen, kitchen. My brother went to prison. prison. Hey, I could finish college, bro. I got the but then to make somebody like that rich. How come there's no Rico against him? Just like Young Thug. Young Thug has got a fight in a Rico right now. What about him? And is and is a known is known to be affiliated with, with crimes. According to eyewitnesses on the scene, Yo Gotti's big brother, Big Jook, was approached by two hitmen dressed in black doing a repast at a funeral. And that's when they opened fire, taking his life. Yeah, he did. But they didn't shoot him at the funeral, they shot him after, when he was outside in his car. He can't shot him like he did over there. He said, he meant that. He meant that. Yeah, I should have seen him over there. I can't lay it down over there. Big Jook did. Huh? He did, Big Jook did. Big Jook did. Howdy, bro. Big joke that caught slipping. It's the only thing you can say. Yo Gotti confirmed the man killed outside a Hickory Hill event center is Gotti's brother. Nobody else got killed, you know, just him. And we, we, there's so much messed up events that's happened so far this year, and we're only in January. Imagine that. They killed Gotti, brother. Yeah, they killed too. Police are looking for a white Ford Explorer. You tell me that they look like police car with, with no... Uh, no markings on it. The plates are taken off and everything. SUV in connection with the shooting, a witness told police they saw suspects in the SUV speeding away. It's too much blood being shed right now in the city of Memphis. And my thoughts and prayers are with all the families who tragically lost somebody. Young Dolph family, black youngsters family. These, these street niggas don't care about that. They don't even care about themselves. Yo, guys, family, man. It's a lot of mothers that's crying and hurting right now. It's a lot of children that's crying and hurting right now. Let's get that out the way. This violence is senseless. But I also I gotta agree. keep it real as well because we know how the streets work, ladies and gentlemen. I find it so eerie, scary, and spooky that this shooting in Memphis, Tennessee of this murder is happening on the eve and the weekend of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You think black people care about that? The black people nowadays? No, nah, they, they don't give a shit about that. Oh no, we, sh we shouldn't push this shit back because it's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. They don't care about that, bro. And for those who don't know history, understand something. Martin Luther King Jr. Blood was also shed in the city of Memphis, Tennessee back in 1968. This is the place where Martin Luther King died and caught a bullet in his... And now here we go, hearing another story of another black man tragically losing his life over nothing in the city of Memphis. Over nothing, exactly. Because they rep their hood and they don't own it. It's most likely some white man that owns owns the neighborhood that they're repping. And um gentrification go look it up, man. They push order them out, do up the area, and then they, they claim it. They go out there and buy, buy up everything and, and run them out. Some say, see, you're claiming something that's not yours. It makes no sense. Oh, yeah, this is my hood. This is my... You pay rent. You don't own that building. You don't own that area. You don't... In fact, the, the things that you probably own is your underpants and your car. That's the only thing you own around there. Tennessee. So much blood has been shed. So many people have been lost. Two brothers were killed. In a matter of months, Gotti's brother and Black Youngster's brother. And I'm pretty sure there's some uh, gematria explaining about this because the dates that they do these things is actually quite wild. It doesn't just happen randomly. It happens. There, there's a guy on on YouTube, right? Call me Kim Falk. I haven't seen him on 
do anything for a while actually um yeah the way he breaks stuff down he actually makes you think like shit this actually could be like staged and planned so sacrificial things like these sacrifices is is, is not fake i believe it 100 percent Dolph's life was tragically taken just a few years back. And so, where everyone wants to say, put the guns down and stop the violence, y'all gotta understand, ladies and gentlemen, these young street dudes. But the thing is, did young Dolph cause it on himself? Because he would rap about, oh yeah, you shot, you shot 100 shots and missed. Then he got shot up again in that, uh, was it a uh, hotel he got shot up? And he made another video again, coming out of hospital, bragging about it. But then... The last time they got him, they got him. So it, again, was that set up as well? And what was he doing on his on, on his own? These are the type of things that you need to be questioning. They don't care about nothing, and they don't have nothing to live for. Therefore, they don't care who lives or dies. <coughs> and so much blood has been shed. How can the violence stop now? When each side wants retaliation. And that's very sad that he was to say that. Um, they don't care about other people's lives. And he also said they don't care about their own. So that if they don't care about themselves, how are they supposed to care about somebody else? It's not going to happen. It's at a point, ladies and gentlemen, where, where it's like, where does it end? How does this stop? As scary and spooky as this may sound, I remember King Vaughn before he died. He was on Million Dollars Worth of... Another savage, K King Vaughn. I, I have no sympathy for him because... How can you... He, he took other people away from their family. That's what I'm saying, that evil shit comes back comes back to bite you one day so he thinks that he can everybody there quite oh you keep going keep going i'm not going to be here disrespecting him but i'm not i don't have no sympathy either because how are you going to run around killing another it's, it's going to come back to you simple game with wallow and gilly wallow had asked them when does it stop King Vaughn said that all this death and destruction doesn't stop until all the players of the game are off the board. Whew. We are watching bodies drop and drop and drop in the city of Memphis. As much as people want to get retaliation and spin the block, you got... And you know what? The white man's going to put a stop to it. Round of applause for the white man, the white... Because... If it wasn't for the white man, they're gonna be running around uh, right, um, wild, killing, killing each other like, like, <clears throat> like there's no tomorrow. Fucking psychopaths, mate. But then when the real, when, when the real problem comes now, they put their hands behind their back and fold, and they don't know what to do. Fucking stupid man, wiping out each other. Can they not see? I don't understand that death is a revolving door, young street niggas. Street niggas. And the game don't stop. And Never so in my life would I ever call myself a street nigga. I, I, li listen, if you call yourself a street nigga, you need to reevaluate re 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 your life and your priorities because street nigga, man, there's only two outcomes for you: is the, the jail or uh, dead. There were the two. You ever think that you're gonna be live your life as a street nigga and then you're gonna grow old and die of a natural cause? I don't think so. So you, you know what you're signing up for? Souls are claimed. See, souls. The yes. game of death takes everybody. Mm -hmm. Whoever they can take. Loved ones, family members, brothers, sisters, mothers. Death don't care. These young niggas ain't gonna stop, man. They got guns. They got clips and extended clips and hate in their heart and lost loved ones whose blood shed on the pavement. And it's just reminds So he mentioned something about Martin Luther King, right? So you're telling me that the people that back then in the sixties and seventies and all that, they went when they they endured all that racism for what? They lost their life, they gave their life for what? For these young street niggas to be running around killing them, killing each other, is 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 that what is that what they died for? And I know that most of these street niggas, their their, their mum or parents, well, I know say their father probably isn't there because the majority of them not, which is another sad thing. But their mothers, would their mothers be proud of what they're doing? Saying that, if it's all illegal shit and they're getting money, they give their mum money. The mum probably turns a blind eye to it. So. 
all because of money. But he's right, this needs to stop because when's it going to end? When everyone's gone? Or it takes Biden to send in the fucking, uh, what do you call it? National Guard, is it? Yeah, he go end up sending some sort of white force to come stop these savages. ...of that scripture in the Bible of Cain and Abel. When God said to Cain when he killed his brother, he said, your brother's blood cries out. How many of these brothers' blood is crying out, begging for this senseless violence to stop? Ladies care. and gentlemen, if we being real, the only way to get out of the game is to simply stop playing. I know this is going to sound crazy to some... But how can you stop playing when your life is on the line? So you can't really stop playing because if you're affiliated with that, with that side and this side don't like you, then how are you supposed to stop? Unless you pack your things and move to fucking, I don't know. Uh, let me think of somewhere random. Germany. Because <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to shoot you over in Germany. Um, yeah, unless you go pack your shit and run over. Because uh, who is that that's talking about? Uh, leaving America and moving to Europe. I don't know, but there's there must be quite a lot of them. And the thing is, right, is if every rich black person left America and went to, say, Africa, what what would happen to America if every black person left America tomorrow? Think about it. Some, some white people would probably enjoy it, like, oh, yeah, them, them niggas are finally gone. But... Saying that, Africa probably won't even accept them either. They blah, we don't want your shit over here. Because um, <laughs> all of these real niggas over in Africa and that, no, it's, it's not going to happen. Some people in Memphis who have hatred in their heart, have cried tears that no one can wipe. Get out now. For your children, for your family. Stop playing this game of death. Not in fear, but to understand that God put you on earth. And he's wearing a hat where there, there's, there's more savages. Chicago, where they love killing each other again. Young King, to do more. They just wake up to kill each other. Then die. There's more to your life than murder, crime, and death. Get out of Memphis, man. How many more brothers got to get buried? I no, I wonder. Okay, yeah. If if, if the donor get involved in that, they, then yeah, leave. But then, is isn't there hope of fixing Memphis? Why would everyone just up and leave? So, and they're not going to fix the problem. I would say try and fix the problem before you leave. I know this about to sound crazy, but man, this is one of those situations where there is no right answer. And the only right answer is to simply stop playing the game of death. Because the game of death comes to take all the players. And it don't stop. As the Bible says, the devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. It's to the point now where you now have to ask yourself, which one of these rappers are going to be the next to get devoured? I pray for the people of Memphis, even for the people of Memphis who have nothing to do with this beef, for the innocent bystanders who have to dodge bullets, for the innocent children who have to lose their fathers and their uncles. Understand something, young street nigga, young shooter, you were sent on earth to do more than just die. Thank you. So choose life. Shouts out to Calibre anyway. But that was a dope video. You guys, yeah? Comment thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.